Welcome to Joel's Measurement Challenge of the Week. This week I was asked, how can I count the number of pulses in a one second observation period? The customer wants to use a function generator to generate the pulses into a device under test and then see how many pulses are dropped on the output of the device under test. Here we have a Tektronix AFG3252 generating the pulse series. It's a one megahertz pulse series. It's going to be a low duty cycle negative going pulse. And here on our oscilloscope, we're measuring the pulse. We're running a Tektronix MSO4104B. It's a 1 gigahertz scope with 5 giga samples of sample rate. You can tell we've got excellent measurements down here. Rise time, fall time, pulse width, number of edges. We're running at 5 giga samples per second. Come over here. Let's adjust the time base so we capture a couple more pulses. This is 10 microseconds of time base. We've got 10 edges. Let's come out here a little further. This is 100 microseconds, and you'll notice that our edge count is all over the place. Well, the problem is that 100 microseconds, our sample rate is down to 100 mega samples per second, or about 10 nanoseconds between points. Well, the pulses themselves were short to begin with, so you'll notice that on any individual capture, I may or may not get the pulses, depending on where my sample points happen to fall. The solution, of course, is to turn up my sample rate from 10,000 points all the way up to 20 million points. Make the same measurement. I get accurate measurements, 100 edges. How far can I take this? Well, here's a 20 millisecond capture. This is one giga sample per second, and I'm already going to be pushing the limits of my sample rate to get an accurate measurement. As you can see, it's processing all 20 million points of memory. And in a minute, we should have an answer. We'll count the number of edges that we have. This is a fairly good method to do for a short observation period. You can see down here, 20,000 edges. The problem is that was only 20 milliseconds we've captured. It took a long amount of time to calculate. It did not get us our one second. One solution to get a long capture without losing sample rate is, of course, to have a deep memory scope. You can buy a deep memory scope, but there's really no scope out there that's going to capture one second at a high sample rate continuously um, to make this measurement. So what's the solution? The solution is a new addition of the Tektronix portfolio called the FCA3120, a whole series of frequency timer counter analyzers. In this case, the A channel is looking at the split off signal, basically the uh, pulse that we were generating, and the B channel is a gate signal being generated from channel 2 on the AFG. It's a one second gate. You can see right there we're measuring one million pulses in each one second gate. Now what I'm going to do is on the AFG, I'm going to add some noise. The noise is going to simulate uh, dropped pulses. Come over here, look at my timer, and all of a sudden I can see, hey, look, I've dropped pulses. Let me restart my counter, come over to my here, and I'm going to bring up a histogram. In this case, what I'm going to see, actually, that's a time trend. There's my histogram. I can actually look at the histogram, and I can see the distribution of the pulses for each one second observation period. So if it's just a uniform noise, it would be Gaussian. If I had some sort of periodic noise source that was modulating and dropping pulses, maybe it would be bimodal. And if I suspect that I have some long-term trend I need to track, I can take the same display and I can go and view it into a sort of a strip chart trend plot of the data. Either way, this technology allows me to do uh, continuous capture over one second for doing things like counting number of pulses, uh, tasks that would be very difficult for a real-time scope, even with deep memory to do. This allows me to make my measurements very quickly and accumulate them. So the FCA3120 is a new addition to the Tektronix uh, line of products, and uh, really it does a nice job of complementing the oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is great when you want to analyze your pulse shape, but if you want to do a long capture and count events, well, nothing beats having a frequency counter on your bench. Thanks for watching.